Sweaty, hot, whirlwind of a mess. We, ooh, she's in the side. She's not gonna like that. One second. We decided to be ambitious and leave the house this morning. And I think I mentioned this before, but Aria has been pushing her eye teeth for what feels like years. And they're still not fully through, so it is still a struggle. We are still struggling. So I decided Let's leave the house. Let's see if we can make this scenario a little better. So we stopped at my in-laws cafe. I wanted to show you guys their whole merch setup because it's literally the cutest thing. But Aria was just, oh bless her. She was just running around being like absolute chaos. So I didn't get to show you the merch area. Someday we will get there. Um, but I did get a couple free things, two things, three things plus a coffee. Um, I got the chef, as always, it's the salted caramel one. Mm, with oat milk, so good. Then I got myself a cutie little trucker hat. I have been loving trucker hats. I have one that says LA, which I've been to LA, don't love it. So I don't even know why I wear it, but it's super cute on me. So I got the Houston one, so cute. We're going to the beach and I thought this would be super cute for at the beach and my bestie girl Hannah I don't think she's ever made it in the vlog but she literally is one of my <laughs> very best friends she would you up oh, book she is currently on vacation and she asked me to pick up a t-shirt for her so I got her the Houston t-shirt and last but certainly not least which plays a role in today's video my in-laws were gracious enough to let me get some of their Turk's Head Coffee Roasters Black Bear Espresso Dark Roast, which is what they use at the cafe. Because, I don't think I mentioned this, but when we were in New York, my espresso machine broke. That was not super fun and fresh. It was my Nespresso machine, so it's like, eh, whatever. But it was the one that I used every day, and the other espresso machine that I have is like super complicated. Like you have to be very hands-on with it to make it function. And I was just not feeling that anymore. As a mom, I just, I need to make a coffee quick, fast, functional. You know what I mean? So I got a new espresso machine, and it comes today. Um, Amazon Prime Days were the last couple days, and so we went a little crazy on a couple things that we were just kind of saving in our Amazon cart that we were like, oh, we don't need, but they would be super fun to have, um, maybe sometime down the road. And then they had Wicked Sales, and we pulled the trigger on my dream espresso machine. We were gonna go on a shopping day, but Miss Ma'am isn't having it. So we're gonna go to a store down the road. Um, it's super, super cute, I love it. I think it's just fun to be there, just because it's so pretty. So I thought I would drop in there, see if they have anything cute, and then probably just go home. I wanna make banana bread, the only problem is I don't have any bread pans. So maybe I'll text my mother-in-law and ask if I can use two, but we'll see. We'll see. Y'all, <laughs> my expectations for this day, honestly, way, way too high. I was just assuming that this was gonna be easy breezy, good vlog day, we were gonna do some shopping, it was gonna go great. <sighs> so I went to that store that I was going to show you guys that is literally so cute. They had like a tent sale or something and there literally wasn't even parking in that parking lot. The parking lot beside it or even along the road you had to park across the street up the road a little bit in a church parking lot and the idea of trying to cross that really busy road with a toddler was not feeling it so we skipped out and we are home which i'm glad we came home because i didn't need to spend any money 
and I probably would have. But I thought I would show you guys a couple things that I've gotten in the last couple weeks because it's been a couple weeks since I've vlogged. This Aria is very much outgrowing all of her swimsuits. She has nine to 12 months, which they're way too small. I don't even know why I even still try. And a couple 12 to 18. Some of the 12 to 18 fit, but then some of them are too small. So we bumped her up to one and a half to two T. So we got her this green one. These are all from H&M. The thing about H&M, I love H&M. Their baby clothes are so cute and seemingly really affordable considering how expensive baby clothes are these days. But their size differences, like this is the same size and it looks so much bigger. Like it literally is bigger. Come on H&M, we need consistency. But this just looks like it's gonna be a little baggy. It's literally so cute. It's like smocked and it has like a crisscross with ruffle in the straps. Love it. And then they did have a little sale. So I got this cutie for literally like $5. I thought this was so pretty for on vacation. <gasps> With a pair of white shorts. Oh, it's so pretty. Such a pretty floral. This is the year of color for Laura. For the funsy side of things, if I can even get this out. It is heavy, y'all. Like heavy, heavy. I will set her up and show you guys. I'm so excited. Here she is. She is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I got the Breville, I don't even remember. I got the Breville Barista Express Espresso Machine in black sesame. I wanted it in white, but they didn't have this one in white on Amazon. And Amazon was doing their Prime Day deals, so she was a couple hundred dollars off because she is very, Pricey. They had a great deal on her, and I couldn't resist. Oh, I just love her. I really do love her. Oh, bug. I am just so thankful. My husband just works so hard so that we can buy all of our needs first and foremost. All of our needs are met beyond, and then let alone our wants. My husband is just the sweetest. He's the one that made me pull the trigger because I was like, I don't know if I can spend the monies. I don't know, I don't know if we're doing that. So, huge shout out to my wonderful, sweet husband who loves to spoil his ladies. Now to clean up the mess that I made. And I might make the banana bread, but I don't have banana, I don't have bread pans. I feel like we went over this. This is me casually looking for bread pans that I'm pretty sure I don't have. <laughs> I've talked about Wildbird ring slings on my channel before. I have used Wildbird slings religiously since Aria was born, and they just brought back their limited edition Cosmos sling, and it has like moons and stars and a little bit of shimmer, and I literally am obsessed with it, and I was like, I have to get it. I, I just have to get it. Most people, that I know that aren't like in the wild bird community end up saying that they don't like it or that they are, they can't figure it out. And I learned from my bestie girl, Hannah, who is a seasoned professional. She is on her third baby and she has so many beautiful slings. Um, and Hannah is the one that taught me 
how to be a ring sling girly. Um, this one is new, just came, and I really wanted to try it out. And Aria just woke up from her nap. So she did just wake up. We, since she's older now and bigger, we pretty much just use this for soothing or if I'm at the grocery store. So when she's like in a good mood. So we're gonna give it a shot. Do you wanna come? You always wanna start with your rings on top of your shoulder so that they don't slide down too much. You ready? Woo! Bum up over shoulder. Honey. Yeah. Yeah. Legs through sling. Bum down and ring sling. Do you like the new sling? You are so big. You barely fit anymore. So then you want to lift up their bottom to tighten it. Make sure you get all that loose fabric. Oh, look at you, big girl. You want your rings to be like at your collarbone, the top of them at your collarbone. You want all of this fabric to be tight. This one's a little squirmy, so it can be a little bit more difficult. Um, you wanna make sure, something that's really important that the more people that I see wear these don't realize is you want them to be in an M shape, so bottom lower than knees, which is what creates like a hammock carry. If you want like a more in-depth tutorial on the ring sling, or even a wild bird haul, let me know. Because I love me a wild bird. Right? Yeah. But yeah, simple, easy as pie. Just takes two seconds. The smaller they are, the easier it is. So if you don't like it when they're small, you're probably not going to like it when they're big. Make sure your sleeve is capped correctly so that it distributes their weight evenly across your back. Make sure that you can kiss them. So they're at kissable height. <laughs> she is a little loose right here, I do know that, but she is squirmy, so having a little bit of extra loose fabric at the top is okay. But you just wanna make sure that it's nice and tight at their back and then their bum to keep their spine supported. Can you say supported? Good job. I literally love it. I'll have to do like a close up if I can of just how stunningly beautiful this fabric is. Oh! <laughs> She's probably ready to play. So, how about we get out of the sling? And then when I store it, I don't normally take it apart every single time. I just hang it up like that. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys my new sling. I just put Aria down for her second knot. I have myself a little Izzy and a towel and my phone. And I decided I'm gonna come out to our little pool, if you will. It's a stock tank pool. And we're gonna do a little swimming. Yes, we have a trampoline. My dad got it or gave it to us. Oh, let me show you the setup. So obviously, towel, Izzy, phone, and this is our little pool that we just kind of hang out in. I had a couple people on Instagram ask how we keep it clean, and we have this little this little thing. You put like a chlorine, a little chlorine tab in it, and yeah, it releases chlorine in the pool. That's how we keep it clean. And we just take a little, I don't even know where it is. We just take this little thing and then scoop out the leaves and bugs and stuff every time we come out. And that usually takes care of it for us. Nothing complicated. Anything bigger, I feel like I would be too scared to let Aria like swim and do her own thing in here. And anything smaller, I feel like I would 
not like because we wouldn't all fit but it's perfect size for me to have my big floaty and then Quint and Ari to play. Perfect. So I'm going to 